could be more at home on the range than the Range Rider. With his thrilling adventures of the great outdoors, his exciting experiences rivaling those of Davy Crockett, Daniel Boone, Buffalo Bill, and other pioneers of this wonderful country of ours. And Dick West, All-American Boy. place or hand it over. What do you mean? We're carrying freight. Yeah. Mighty rich looking freight. Get going. Look, Senor Miguel. Pretty bad. The others get away? Yeah, there were two of them. Just who are you, mister? He's the range rider. Well, yeah. glad to know you. I'm Dick West. Howdy, son. You better get some help get him patched up. Well, what about the two that got away? See if you can trail them. I'll meet you at the fork in Lone Canyon tonight. Right. My leg. Stay back here and don't try anything. You'll be all right. Now, where are you gentlemen going? Yeah, we're going to La Plata. Well, La Plata? That's a ghost town, isn't it? La Plata is no ghost town, senor. We still have a silver mine. Yeah, I'm afraid he's at least half right, Miguel. The plot is broke. <laughs> but we're not ghosts yet, mister. I'm Placer Dan Meehan. I own the town and the mine. Permit me, senor. I'm Miguel Ruiz. The best silver smith in Mexico. Makes the prettiest jewelry you'll ever see. <laughs> We'd like to see your work sometime, Miguel. Right now, we better get you to a doctor. Yeah! jewelry. Got a nice place for it, too. On the way back, we, we got held up. This young fella here, he got one of them. He's in the back. The other two, they lit out with the monies. Father! Father! Oh, Father, you are hurt. It is nothing. My daughter, Consuela. I'll be all right now. She's the best nurse in all La Plata. Well, dear, senor. You're going to bed right now and stay there. Pero no te molestas, es nada. Vámonos. I heard about it, Dan. You should let me ride guard for you like I wanted. Well, I didn't figure they know we were carrying money. Uh, Sheriff McCandless, shake hands with the range rider. Howdy. Hello, Sheriff. Uh, look, Dan, we've been friends for a long time, but ever since I took office, it's been one hold up after another. They got eyes and ears everywhere. I can't cope with them. Maybe I better resign. Yeah, I'm beginning to think we both better quit. You see, mister, this town went broke when the price of silver bullion fell. Well, I had an idea we'd make the silver into jewelry. Well, I even brought Miguel up from Mexico to show us how. What happened? Well, we made four shipments and 
The outlaws grabbed every one of them. Now we finally get one through and they hold us up for the money. But nevertheless, the jewelry did sell, didn't it? Sure. They said they'd take all we could make. You're not going to give up to a bunch of outlaws without a fight, are you? Well, that's not the point. Look, if Dickie and I can find out who's behind all this, will you give it just one more try? How about it, Sheriff? If I can talk the people into it, will you forget resigning and see it through? Uh, you stubborn old desert rat. If you can do it, I'm sure going to stick around and help you. Well, I knew I could depend on you, Mac. I'll take care of this man you got here. Is that where you trailed him? Yeah. They rode in there, talked to a girl that runs the place, switched horses, and then rode out. Hey, look, there he goes. Who? He's the bartender and cook. His name is Soapy. I sneaked up there and heard him talking. Boy, he really thinks that place is haunted. He won't stay inside at night. He stays out in the shack out in the back. With a bottle? Yeah, why? Remember that desperado we put in jail down in Mescal? Sure, Rusty Rivers. Well, what's that got to do with us? I wonder how well Soapy likes his job. Oh, no. No, I've seen that look before. And every time, it always means trouble for me. So now, whatever you're thinking, just forget about it. Stop looking at me that way. Senior Soapy. Senior Soapy. Wait. No! Oh, Bandito. Senior Soapy, I am after you. What are we here? Come on out so I can get a shot at you. <laughs> Are you sure you're a cook? Oh, just wait till you taste this, Miss McCandless. This is gonna be all right. Well, you better get that customer's breakfast out to him, and quick. Oh, my gosh, I forgot. <laughs> Sir? It's about time. How is it? Fine, you little crumb. I'll ram every bit of this down to your throat. Plate and all. Now, now, just a minute now. Hey, that was about the slickest bit of gunplay I've ever seen. Mr. Uh, what did you say? His... You mean you don't know who he is? I don't think I've had the pleasure. Well, that's Rusty Rivers, fastest gun slick in the West. You know him, Wildcat? Wildcat? Wildcat Wilson, our new bartender and cook. I saw him once down in Mescal, but I've heard a lot about him. What brings you to the Spanish sword? Well, I, um... Never mind. I'd rather you didn't tell me about it. My name is Sue McCandless. My father is the sheriff. The sheriff's daughter, hmm? Don't worry about it. As long as you don't make any trouble, you can stick around. Thank you, ma'am. Right now, I'd like to get something to eat. Wildcat, take him out to the kitchen. Follow me, Rusty. Sure, Wildcat. Worked out all right. Yeah. Suppose we're on the wrong track, though. You trailed the outlaws here, didn't you? Oh, sure, but didn't Sue say she was the sheriff's daughter? So what? We'll keep our eyes open, and maybe we'll find out something. What in the devil is that? Oh, that? That's my Wildcat Wilson surprise. I'd be surprised if it doesn't kill somebody. What'd you put in it? Oh, not much. A little this and a little that and some seasoning, some baking soda, some water and some, some sourdough and a little box of yeast cake. Look out! Now what? 
Old Wildcat here was making his favorite dynamite cake. The only trouble is he forgot to take the fuses out of the dynamite. Well, never mind that now. Come on out in 10 bar. We've got a lot more customers. Oh, fine. And I don't know any more about tin and bar than I do about cooking. Well, there's only one thing to remember. What's that, huh? Just don't touch the stuff yourself. Yeah, but... but... <laughs> Try that, sir. What is it? Uh, I call it a, a tombstone tornado. Well? <laughs> Not enough kick in it. When I want a drink, I want a drink. Get it up here. Yes, sir. Where's the boss? What do you want here? Your dad got a tip that the outlaws were headed this way after the holdup. You see anything of them? My place is public. I don't ask questions unless somebody makes trouble. Mm -hmm. What about him? Who is he? Why, I think he said his name was Rusty Rivers. Rusty Rivers, huh? You mean you let this gun slick stick around here with your dad being the sheriff? My dad's the sheriff. I'm not. If he wants him, he can come and get him. Look, Miss McCandless, I don't want to close your place. We have some complaints. Come on in the office, Sandy, and let's talk about it. Guess we got away with it, huh? There's the money. Hey, that's quite a haul. Did Buck get hurt bad? Just a nick. He's over the Camino City Jail. Now, incidentally, there'll be a large shipment going out in a day or so. I'd like to have you have the boys ready. How come we're so interested in jewelry all of a sudden? It's a large silver outfit trying to take a little plot over. They'll take all the silver we can grab. How about this Rusty Rivers character? You think we could get him to replace Buck? I don't know. But I'll check on him. In the meantime, don't tell him anything till you hear from me. Right. Try that, sir. What is it? Um, uh, a Santa Fe Swizzler. Has it got a kick? I think so. Santa Fe Swizzlers for everybody. Yes, sir. Thanks, man. How's it going? I think I got a clue, but I'm not sure. Yes? Well, what is it? Man, tell me everything that you know about the Spanish sword. The old roadhouse? Well, the place has been closed for a long time. <laughs> People say it was haunted. Then Sheriff McCandless's daughter opened it up. Why do you ask? Right after you were held up, Dickie trailed two outlaws right to it. Maybe they thought nobody would look for him there. Especially it being run by the sheriff's daughter. Yeah, but there's more to it than that. I introduced myself to her as a wanted outlaw. He thinks she'd want to turn me over to her father, but no. She even talked the deputy sheriff out of arresting me. Hmm, maybe you got something there. Yet it's not much to go on. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna go back out, sit tight, see what happens. Good. By the way, I got a surprise for you. Yeah? I talked to the people. We're gonna scrape up every bit of jewelry in town and give it one more try. Wonderful. When are you gonna ship? Tomorrow. Now, who have you told about us? Only my own people. No, I mean outsiders. Well, uh, I'll have to tell the sheriff. He's riding guard for us. Just make sure that he keeps it a secret. Uh, don't worry, I will. Maybe tomorrow will be our lucky day. <laughs> I hope so. Hey, me and is there a saddle shop here in La Plata? Sure, a darn good one, just up the street. He's a friend of McGill's. I'll get him to introduce you. Wonder. Come on. How's the leg? Kind of sore. 
What's he doing out of jail? I took him out. I want him to get a good look at this man who calls himself Rusty Rivers. Calls himself? That's right. I happen to know that Rusty Rivers is still in jail over at Mescal. Well, he's inside eating breakfast. Well, let's go take a look at him. That's him. Rusty. Rusty Rivers. Yep. What's the matter? Don't you even know your own name? Sure. Just don't like to have my breakfast interrupted, that's all. You're right. He ain't Rusty Rivers. He's the guy who plugged me. The Range Rider. Not Rusty Rivers! Why, that lying, two-faced... Ow! 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 I don't want any killings done in my place. Are you kidding? After what he did to me, pretending he's Rusty Rivers, why I ought to... I said no killings. Hmm, well, okay, you say so. All right, give me some rope. I still think you ought to let me kill him. Maybe later. My time of fight. Come on, come on. Yeah, that ought to hold him. We better get going. That silver shipment pulls out at noon. Today? Yeah, today. Why can't you stay here? But give me your word not to shoot him. Well, all right, but it's going to be hard to resist. Bud, you stay, too. Right. Buck, you better get back to jail. Remember, no shooting. Chuck, you come along with me and pick up some of the boys. Hey, Wildcat. How about giving me a drink of water? I want a glass of water. Here you are. <laughs> you know, Wildcat, you sure are a card. <laughs> yeah, a real joker. Kind of overdoing it, aren't you? That's what you get for pretending you're Rusty Rivers. Hey, Wildcat, how about rustling me up a drink? Only you can leave the water out of mine. Sure, what do you have? Anything, just as long as it's got a kick in it. It'll be a pleasure. <laughs> Why, I thought you said it had a... Come on, untie me. You promise you're not gonna hit me? Untie me. And hurry up. They're after the jewels. We gotta get to La Plata fast. Muy bien hecho, no? It is very well made, no? Very good, Miguel. My gosh, I got a feeling it's going to work this time. It's that better, senor, or La Plata, she is finished. Hey, don't you worry. When we make this shipment, we'll have a contract for all the jewelry we can turn out. And suppose we cannot deliver it? Don't even mention it, Miguel. Estoy perfectamente bien y tengo que salir con estos hombres. 
And besides, I can still hold the gun. What's that shoulder, Miguel? Easy now. Easy. All right, Jane, get him up. There. Check the traces on the team. Holy sir. Tell me, Sheriff, if you were an outlaw, where would you try a hold up? Why, I, I don't know. I... I'd pick the narrowest, crookedest part of the road, wouldn't you? Why, I guess so, but I. <clears throat> Did you hear somebody sneeze? <laughs> Pardon me, senor, but the dust in my head noise you. Uh, let's go. We've uh, lost enough time already. Hey, just about. Huh? You get it. Come on, Dan. Better be sensible. There's too many of them. All right, get down. All of you. Chuck, you take over. Your gun. I'll take over now, Dan. They'll all be locked up nice and safe. I don't think so, Sheriff. What's that? The last prisoner we gave you walked right out of jail. How do you suppose that happened? Well, my deputy could have left her. Right under your nose? How come the outlaws knew that today was the day of the shipment? Why, anybody could have... Uh... You're wrong, Mac. Just you. Old friend. You're the only outsider I told. You're the only one who could have tipped off your daughter. And that's why you're going to jail. Right along with her. Maybe not. Is this what you're looking for? Ah, uh, you... I want you to have this, senor. I made it myself. Oh, thanks, but, but I could... Gee, I, I... And I want you to have these too, senor. Ah, there's a great future here in La Plata. Silver contract and uh, money in the bank. Well, it seems like everybody's got a great future. That is, everyone except my sidekick, Dickie. He's sworn off of women. Says he can't trust me. <laughs> sworn off? If that is what I think you mean, you better take a look. Worn off of women, huh? Oh, but she's different. 